said, the healing comes from the nature and not from the physician. India has been a land of nature with several magical herbs and spices. Let me speak about one such herb, Ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is a medicinal plant originating in the subtropical regions of India. It's also known by several other names including Indian ginseng and winter cherry. Ashwagandha is a slow-growing evergreen perennial shrub that does not grow very tall. It is an easy to grow plant that is often grown for ornamental value. So easily grown that once we plant it anywhere in our lawn, its berries ripen and drop and give rise to several saplings. Some varieties have bright orange red berries. It needs a well draining soil. Keep the soil moist but keep in mind that it does not tolerate water logging. To keep them under rapid growth and retain its ornamental value, we safely grow them in 12 inch planters. So it gets sufficient air and sun and yet grows within limits. There are no serious pests or diseases that trouble ashwagandha plants. Ashwagandha is Sanskrit for smell of the horse, which refers to both the herb scent and its potential ability to increase strength. It may help in reducing stress and anxiety. It may regulate blood sugar levels as well. It is also anti-inflammatory. It also increases brain function and boosts memory. It has been used in Ayurveda for almost 3000 years. Last 5-600 years, the true Indian ethos like yoga, Ayurveda, etc. were covered. But lately, in the past few years, the ancient and local medicines and wellness products have blossomed across various brands. Ashwagandha today is widely used and accepted, especially when immunity is sought. Do grow this tropical plant in any corner of your garden. It's surely worth its place. Please follow, like and share our post using the icons below. Please learn some great recipes at mencanmakehomes.com. Please visit Early Progressions Faridabad to know lots more. Bye for now and keep watching for more to come.